Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing box two and three, my remaining boxes from the Sephora Spring Sale. I finally received my packages and there was quite a delay on these, but I did receive them a lot sooner than anticipated. I believe my third box was supposed to be shipped out on May 28th and I just received it this past weekend. So I'm really excited to share with all of you what I received from Sephora. And if you're interested in finding out, of course, what I picked up, then please keep on watching. And before we get right into this video, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell, by doing so, you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I do upload videos every single week. Alright, so let's get right into this video and let me show you all the goodies that I ended up picking up. Now, anytime there is a Sephora sale, especially in the springtime, I tend to go overboard and I always splurge and pick up a whole bunch of things and that's okay because I do this at least once a year, maybe twice a year, but we're allowed to treat ourselves from time to time. So, the first purchase that I made, I'm really excited to share with you, and I ended up splurging, and I ended up picking up the New Face Trinity. Now, I did pick up the one that is larger, so you can interchange the heads on this. Now, of course, it's still in the box. I haven't opened it up yet. I just received it two days ago, and... I'm going to do a review on this. I'm going to put it to the test and I will do a full review and I will show you how to use this in an upcoming video. Now they did have different kits to choose from. I did pick the kit that comes with the lip and eye treatment head. So it looks like a prong and you're supposed to treat around your mouth area as well as your eyes. So I did choose that attachment and I'm really excited to try that one because I heard a lot of great reviews and feedback on that in particular attachment for the new face. Now the new face is supposed to help contour your cheekbones, it's supposed to help lift your skin, and it's going to help treat fine lines and wrinkles. Now even if you don't have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and you don't really need any toning at the moment, by starting now this is going to be a prevention and it's going to help keep your skin toned and contoured and it's also going to help prevent fine lines and wrinkles from forming. So new face claims. So I'm definitely excited to try this out. I'm all for preventative. You want to use this five times a week for the first 90 days and after 90 days is up then you can just do preventative treatments so you can use it one or two times per week after that. So you won't have to use it as much after the 90 days but if you wanted to use it more than the one and two and you want to keep going with your five days a week then you can totally do that. So this this is going to send microcurrents through your skin. So this did come with a gel that you're supposed to apply to your skin before you start going at your face with the new face device. And I also picked up an extra tube of the gel and this is a gel primer. So apparently you do need to use this on your skin before using the new face device because if you don't, apparently you can feel a lot of sensation on your skin because it is sending microcurrent technology through your skin. So I did pick up an extra one of these as well. So I will let you know how this turns out in a separate video. The next product that I ended up picking up is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and this is the Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin and this is really good for sensitive skin as well. Now the reason why I picked this up is because I wanted something that I can apply on top of my Retin-A Tretinoin on the nights that I am using it and since I am upping my usage right now, I am almost at four days a week, I'm experiencing a lot of dryness, a lot of flaky skin, and my skin can feel tight from time to time, which can be expected, especially when you're upping your usage with Retin-A. So I wanted something that is going to keep my skin hydrated and to help with that dry, flaky skin. So I did use this once, and this is very, very hydrating. When they say it's an ultra repair cream with intense hydration, they are not lying. This is super hydrating, and it feels so nice on your skin, especially when it's irritated, it's dry, and it's feeling tight. So if you have dry skin and that is your skin type, this is going to be a great moisturizer to pick up. And not only is this for your face, but you can literally use this from head to toe. So you can use this on your arms, you can use it on dry patches on your body. So it's great for everywhere and I think that's amazing when it comes to a multi-purpose product like this. So I really, really like this. I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand and as you can see here it's a pretty thick white cream and then when I rub it in 
of course you're not gonna see the consistency of it but it does blend into my skin really nicely but the hydration that comes from this cream is just insane it's just amazing so I'm really happy that I did pick this up I did pick up the 2.0 ounces because I wasn't sure on how I was gonna like this and when it comes to face cream if it comes in different sizes I always like to start off with a smaller size and test it and see if my skin can tolerate it and if I'm gonna like it because the larger size that this comes in comes in a large tub so if I'm gonna keep using this and I do see improvements and I do like it more than just using it one time then I think I will invest in the larger size but I really like this there is no scent to this either and it's very gentle and multi-purpose so definitely pick this up if you're looking for something to help with your dry flaky dehydrated skin the next product that I picked up I'm super excited about and this is the new Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. Now I've had my eye on this product since this released a few months ago but I wanted to wait until the Sephora sale to get it at a discounted price. Now this is very similar to the ordinary niacinamide but this is actually stronger and there's other added ingredients in here that are going to really target hyperpigmentation texture and if you have acne prone skin this is also going to be a good product to incorporate into your skincare routine. I'm not going to talk a lot about it right now because I am going to do a separate review and I will show you what this looks like and how it applies to my skin but I wanted to pick this up because this actually has tranexamic acid in here and that is going to really help with past acne marks. So I do have past acne marks on my cheeks and one on my chin as well and I'm really trying to fade those areas with retin and of course with vitamin C but I wanted something that I could add as an extra boost to my skin to lighten those areas there's also kojic acid in here and alpha arbutin alpha arbutin is a skin lightener so it's gonna help with hyperpigmentation which I do have as well and I do get the odd breakout from time to time and this is good for oily skin as well so I really wanted to try this product and I wanted to see how this compared to of course your traditional niacinamide serum but so far so good I've been using this now for six days in a row this came in box number two and I usually have a lot of texture on my chin because my chin is a problem area for me I tend to break out and if I become dry from retin-a my chin gets a beating with the dry skin so this has really helped to get rid of the dry rough textured skin on my chin and I've really been impressed with this so far so I can only imagine what this is going to be like in several weeks and months to come so I will do a review coming soon on this product so stay tuned. So I do have two Charlotte Tilbury products that I ended up picking up and I don't know what it is with her makeup line. Her makeup line is just so majestic. I love the formulations of her eyeshadows. The blushes are super pigmented. Her lip products are on point and there really isn't anything from her line that I dislike. Now of course I haven't tried everything from her makeup line but the things that I have tried have really impressed me and it keeps making me want to buy other things from her makeup line. So this product that I ended up picking up is totally new to me. She actually used this product back a few years ago when she did the Victoria's Secret fashion show. And this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now the way that she likes to use this product is she applies this all over the face before foundation. So you would do your skincare routine and then you would do your SPF and then of course if you want to apply a makeup primer you can do so and then she then likes to apply this all over the skin to give your skin a youthful glow to it and then she goes in with the foundation and then all of your other makeup items afterwards. So I have tried this two ways. I've tried it like that where you apply it all over your skin before your foundation and if you want really dewy glowy skin then that's the way you want to use it. And the glow that you get from this is insane. So it's not for everybody. A lot of people might think it may look like they have greasy skin. I actually quite like it because I love dewy skin, glowy skin. I feel like it's very youthful and it looks beautiful and I always get so many compliments when I do have really dewy, glowy skin. So I've used it like that before my foundation. I really did like that. When you do it that way, I feel like you don't really need to go in with a 
the highlighter afterwards because it will become a little bit too much. So this is great on its own and then foundation on top. And then I've used this on top of my makeup as a highlighter. So after I've done all my makeup and I've done my bronzer and blush, I will then go in with this and just do my high points of my face, my cupid's bow, and of course anywhere else that you'd like to highlight. You can even highlight your decollete as well if you're wearing a really nice low cut top. It's very pretty, especially if you have a tan going on. So this is going to be really nice for summer. But I will show you what this looks like. I did get it in the color One Fair because I wanted something that I could apply underneath my foundation that won't change the color of my foundation too much. I didn't want something to give me more of a tan look. So if you want something darker than this, then they do have multiple colors to choose from. But I did choose the color Fair. And it comes in a really nice doe foot like this and it's easy to apply. I actually don't like to start tapping my face with this because we'll be contaminating this and then you're putting it back in the container and then the whole entire formula is contaminated. So it's best just to put it on the back of your hand and then grab from your hand. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand and as you can see it has a really nice glow to it and then when I rub it into my skin I don't know if you're going to be able to really tell on camera. It's not too crazy. It's very subtle, but it does give a really nice, pretty glow to your skin. So this is well worth the money, and I really, really love this, and I love that it's multi-purpose. You can actually mix this with your moisturizer as well. So if you're somebody that doesn't even use a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, you can actually apply this to your moisturizer just to give you a little bit of a youthful glow to it. And if you buy a different color and you buy the shade that matches your skin tone, then it's basically like a tinted moisturizer. So I would highly, highly recommend this. This is absolutely beautiful. So the next Charlotte Tilbury product that I ended up picking up is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. Now, how pretty is this packaging? I just think her packaging is beautiful. I love the gold. It looks very classy and I love it. I'm a sucker for packaging, I really am. But I'm sure you have all seen this before and I don't know why I didn't pick this up a lot sooner than I did, but better late than never is what I like to say. So this is the color that I got. This is the Fair Medium Shade. I think this is perfect for my skin tone as I am pretty fair to begin with if I'm not self tanning. And if you are darker skin than me, there is one shade darker than this as well. Now this highlighter is really pretty. I wasn't sure on how much glow it would give my skin but I am wearing it today and I am wearing it on my cheekbones and I am wearing it down the bridge of my nose as well as my cupid's bow and I really really love this highlighter it's very subtle and you can build it up to make it really blinding as well and of course I am wearing the bronzer today as well on my cheeks and my forehead and it gives you the perfect sun-kissed bronze to your skin and I really really love this. So this is well worth it in my opinion and I love that it's multi-purpose. It's easy for travel. You don't have to bring different types of bronzers and highlighters with you. This is two in one and if you were to bring the Hollywood Flawless Filter with you on a trip, you can add that to your moisturizer. You have a tinted moisturizer and of course you have this. Done. Easy makeup look. Throw on some mascara and you can call it a day. So I would highly recommend this if you don't already have it. This is so worth the money. I also picked up the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and anytime there's a Sephora sale I'm always picking up at least one or two of these as this mascara tends to be what I use on an everyday basis. Now when I'm not using this one I am using one from the drugstore which is the L'Oreal Voluminous and whenever I'm not using that one I'm using this. So this one really does give you a lot of length and volume and it really separates and fans out your lashes and I always get so many compliments when I am using this mascara because because I do like to go in with two to three coats when I am using this. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm wearing the L'Oreal one today, but this one really is a nice one to have in your mascara collection. So if you're looking for a new one, then I would highly recommend this. And the last product that I have here is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. And I really love this 
this to spray on top of my makeup to set my makeup and this really does give you a nice glowy complexion as well so I love to use this on top of my makeup I also like to use this throughout the day to refresh my skin and to feel more awake and I also like to sometimes spritz my skin after I've cleansed my skin to dampen my face and then I go in with my serums and moisturizers afterwards so I don't tend to do that a lot I usually just use this on top of my makeup and to spritz my skin throughout the day as a refreshment but this is a lovely spray and I've bought multiple bottles of this and I like to choose the 30 ml size because these are really easy to throw in your purse or your gym bag and I like to have this on hand so this is the last product that I picked up from the Sephora sale and I know it seems like quite a bit here and I did purchase a lot and if you haven't seen my first box from the Sephora sale I will leave that video below for you as well as up here if you'd like to check it out so that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you enjoyed it and of course I will see you guys in my next video so take care and thank you so much for watching bye guys